target wherever the pain is that it'll relieve it and it'll not hurt as much so I just wanted to come and cry just because I've been holding everything in for so long and it's just it's starting to just become centered there and and it's hurting a lot so I know I have to cry and so I need a space where I could do it without being around anyone so I could cry freely and not have to worry about people coming and bugging me or making sure I'm okay or or asking if you know everything's all right or what's wrong or whatever just getting mad at me because I'm wasting my time crying I just wanted him to know so that I could just do it and there's no no waiting wondering and the baby was still asleep and I thought she'd be asleep for a while but as soon as I walk in before I was done crying, I went to ask him for the lighter and I, or for, not the lighter for the weed because I wanted to smoke, but um, I, I found the lighter, it was outside on the front porch before I walked in to ask him, so I didn't need to ask for the lighter anymore, but I did need to know about the weed because I wanted to ask him a question about it because there was a lot of it and then all of a sudden there's a little bit and I was just in here for like 15 minutes so I was wondering and 
yeah, he told me that's all that was left. So I was just like, wow. But I'm, I, I just needed to go cry some more, you know, and let it out. But I saw the baby was already awake. So I'm just like, oh, my God, like now he's going to start getting all frustrated and wanting me to go watch her already because he's awake and, and wanting to do stuff. And she's awake and wanting to do stuff with him and bugging him. And he's not going to want to do that. And he's going to want me to go watch her so he could go do stuff because I'm just wasting my time out here crying and, and whatever, just trying to figure out you know, my fucking life and shit, and it's just wasting time, apparently, so he's gonna start getting mad at me, and I know he is already, because there's no fucking milk right now, there's no milk, because nobody wants to go fucking buy milk, because I'm the one that always buys the fucking milk all the goddamn time, unless I ask him to directly to go buy it, otherwise, I'm the one that's always out there going by myself to go fucking buy the milk at 10 in the night, 12 in the night, all alone, he doesn't come with me, I go by myself, and then he's going to get mad at me now because there's no fucking milk. Oh, my fucking God. Are you kidding me? And he's going to get mad because I tell her to give her a breakfast essential, something that he's always fucking giving her when he wants to. And now it's a fucking problem all of a sudden. Now it's a fucking problem. Oh, fuck. Ugh. So fucking mad. So fucking mad. Oh my god. I'm tired of being put down all the fucking time. I'm tired of it. Okay, I know I'm not fucking perfect, obviously. I have problems. That's pretty fucking evident. I think most people get that by fucking now that I have fucking problems. And almost everybody knows what my fucking problem is. Even you. And you still want to give me shit. Over little fucking bullshit! God damn it, man! Fuck! Oh, I'm so mad! So fucking mad! Oh, God! <laughs> if it wasn't for me fucking telling him he could do it and putting him up and making him feel like he, he can't accomplish it, we wouldn't even have this fucking business right now. He wouldn't be fucking pressure washing. He wouldn't be doing any of the shit that he's doing now. You know, just be still all fucking sad on the couch every fucking day watching TV. Just all pouting like a fucking child every fucking day. Making problems for everybody. Just causing fucking problems. Trivial bullshit. And if it wasn't for me, that's where you'd fucking be right now. So don't tell me I didn't fucking do shit for you. Don't fucking tell me that. Don't tell me I don't do fucking shit. You don't fucking know. You have no fucking clue. Oh. <sighs>